Hey, what's going on, everyone? Smoke Carbon 13 here, and welcome back to another Diecast review. Today we are. What the fuck? And I don't even know no more. Rolling down the strip in my two door Chevrolet. And the wheels keep turning. And I don't even know no more. Rolling up the block in my two tone black and gray. Thank you so much, Brendan Littell for doing the intro for the video. Make sure you go subscribe to his YouTube channel. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. How's it going, everybody? I'm Smoke Cover 13 and welcome back to a NASCAR diecast review video. And today we are doing a review, if not the rarest diecast in the Spin Master NASCAR diecast line. When I went on Twitter, I actually saw this little post from Brendan Littell and he was actually going to sell this Bobby Labonte 2013 Spin Master number 47 diecast. And now the cool thing is about this diecast, well, it's considered more than likely the rarest Spin Master diecast. Carbon, why is this so rare? Well, let me explain it to you a little, Timmy. Well, because this supposedly be the only 164 of Bobby Labonte's 2013 car. Yes, this bad boy is supposed to be only the 2013 164 ever made. Lionel never made it, which was pretty shocking, actually. The only thing that really came out for Bobby Labonte in 2013 was basically this. And you also have the promo car of the 124. I'll show you a picture of it right now. That's basically the only 124 car that was only made for that year. And then you have this car that was only released in the Spin Master line. It's getting really hot in here. As I'm going to show you what the 164 looks like. As you can see, it's the it's got uh, Kingford uh, charcoal number 47, and this is probably this is one of my favorite Bobby Labonte uh, paint schemes. Is the uh, the Kingsford's car, and then you got the picture of Bobby Labonte, and on the back of it, it's just what tells you on the details, and then go up. And it shows the other side. There he goes. And then you got the front side. So with this car, this is supposedly only Bobby Labonte's 164. I mean, you see people making customs of this of this car, but this is one of the reasons why this car is pretty rare in the Spin Masters line because it's the only version of it. And now, when you go on like websites like eBay, um, you know you'll see the diecast selling for over 40, even 60. Maybe closer to $100, mainly about in the 50 range at least. But I uh, snagged a great deal from Brendan Littell, and I really appreciate him for selling this to me. And so, really happy for, I actually got my hands on this car. And you know, there's also a couple other rare versions of the Spin Master line, but this one is considered the most rare car. But you also got like Kurt Busch's 2011 car, and I think... A couple Danica diecasts of the Spin Master line is actually rare too, especially the 10 and the number 7 car, if I'm not correct. But those are pretty rare in that line. But um, really happy I got my hands on this. So, this is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoy it, hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more. And uh, let me know if you actually have this in your collection. And uh, this, this thing is really cool to have. But uh, I think you guys will love every single one of y'all. And also, let me know if you. I mean, let me know if you do have this car. But thank you guys. Love you all. And I'll see y'all next time.